Hey guys! Oh my gosh, I know it has been so painfully long since I have made a YouTube video and posted it online. I, the last video I made was August 12th, and that was my two-week update piercings, and um, I did a video on that, and ever since then, I haven't done a video since. Um... I'm not going to make excuses, but I have been working a lot more, and because school just started, I've been doing school and working and trying to manage everything, so that's why I have not talked to you guys in a while, so I apologize for that, and I hope you guys forgive me, because I love y'all so muchies, and so... um. I got a comment, I read it last night, saying that I should make a video, like all compact, of sleeping naked, school, and yeast infections, <laughs> and those are the things I did want to talk to you guys about, I just did not have the time to. So how this is going to work, I really don't know. Uh, for many of y'all that do not know, I wing it, I do not edit my videos for one, I don't know how to yet, and for the second reason, like I like being natural and just wing it off the top of my head, and um, I tend to kind of be good at that, I don't know, y'all tell me, um, I'm slowly getting it, this is only my fourth video, so yay, hopefully I figure it out, editing soon, hopefully all that trickles on down, and it's compiled in a neat little package for y'all, um, so since... Three of the top, uh, since I had three topics, I will see what happens winging it. I might talk a lot about one topic and then talk very small about one. It just depends on how long each topic is. Um, who knows? We'll find out. So, first topic, because school did just start, and I'm on my third week of school. I just started today. Um, happy, welcome back to school. I know y'all hate that. I know some of y'all are hating me right now, saying, why is she saying happy back to school? But it's great to be back in school in a, in a sense, because you know what to do with your life. Now, come on, a lot of y'all slept in the entire summer and did not do anything with your youthful life. Y'all know that. So it's good to be back in school. You're getting an education. You're building towards your career and becoming an adult. So yeah, school is important. Um, some people are made for it. Some people aren't. Um, I am in community college. I did not go to a university. Um, I will get, I guess I'll get into um university versus a community college and let's just get one thing straight before we start this just because you are in a university does not make you any better than someone who goes to a community college it does not make you better let's get that straight okay okay so the differences or Community college and a university, of course, one, you go away towards, you move into a dorm, you're basically like starting all over again and have this kind of new adult life. Whereas a community college, I stay with my mom and, um, yeah, I basically stay with my mom and I live with her. I'm going to be in community college for two years. That's how long community college is technically tends to be two years and then you can transfer to get up to a university. I will tell you why I personally think community college is better just for me and some other people that are kind of teeter-tottering. Do I want to go to a university or do I want to go to a community college? The education is the same. The education is the exact same for your basics for community college and for a university. You're just spending a lot less money. So my friend, she's in Texas State, and she spends $9,000 just on her basic courses. Me, because I'm in district, I only spend $800 a semester. So I save $7,200, or I save my mom $7,200. <laughs> So it's a big money difference. And another thing with that is that there are smaller classes of like high school classes, like 20 to 30 kids 
it's a small class, whereas a university, there could be classes of 200, 300, 400, 500 kids in one classroom. So that's another reason why I think community college is better than a university is because of you saving a hell of a lot of money from your basics and because the classes are smaller and you're getting the same exact education as you would in a university. Um, I think another thing that you should consider is are you going to be homesick? My mom, when she went away to call, she drived home every single weekend because she was so homesick. And I knew personally for me that I did not want to be away from home for the first two years of college. I had a breakdown my first week and I needed my mom. So think about that. Are you going to be homesick? Are you going to be driving back and forth? Or I don't even know if you can do that back and forth every single weekend. If so, you might want to stay at home. Um, so, I mean, it's it really depends on you and how you feel. Some people are ready. They're like, yes, let's go. I'm going to university. I'm getting out of here. And they do fine. Other people need that time to get into that adult motion, kind of being on their own a little bit and taking more responsibilities. Um, another thing that is important, did I just lose it? I just lost it. I just lost it. I lost the last important little, the last thing I wanted. I lost it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Maybe it'll come back to me. Um, so it really depends on you, how you feel. I'm really thinking hard about this, guys. I can't remember. It's really sad, guys. It's here. Okay. <laughs> so, for a, versus a university and a, a community college, you spend less money when you go to a community college. You're closer to home. Your classes are smaller. And I just think, overall, it's I think it's better for me personally. Um, there's still a lot of really cute guys there. You don't have to go to a university to find cute boys. You don't. There are a lot of cute guys in my college. I'm very pleased. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, no, I remember. My brain working. See, the minute you forget about it, it comes back into your head. That's how it works. Um, another thing with why I think community college is better than going to university is when your senior year, you're applying, you're trying to get the best grades you can. When you're applying for university and high school, they look at all your high school grades. Whereas a whereas you go to a community college and then transfer, they will only look at those college grades. So if you get A's and B's mainly throughout the whole two years and you don't drop anything or anything like that, you can basically go to any college that you want and you will be fine. They don't look at your SAT scores, they don't look at your ACT scores, they don't look at your high school stuff, just college. That's the little box that they look at and it's a lot easier. So if you select in high school and you do not have the best grades, it also can help you and prep yourself and get ready and just get your shit together, basically. is you getting your shit together for going off to university. Yes, I remembered. Yay. Okay. So you save a lot more money. You're closer to home. And it's a lot easier to transfer, especially if you have 30 hours or more. You just have to apply, and they will look at your grades. And also do scholarships and stuff like that. You still need to do scholarships if you plan on transferring over. And you only pay half, I know you only pay half the tuition of going to university, but that's still a lot of money. Let's be honest, that's still a lot of money. So applying for scholarships and financial aid and stuff like that is really helpful. So do that. So that's why I like community college rather than university. That's my opinion. Hopefully if you guys are teeter-tottering on which one to go and lean towards more, um, leave a little comment and I can go more in depth to you about it. If I see it's a little tiny little personal thing, I'll um, message you right off the bat. 
as soon as I can. And if it's like a big, like I mean, a lot of questions about the same topics, I'll make another video for you guys and upload it and go through the questions of what I got the most questions for and about. So, yeah. So, and again, the education is the same. Just because your university does not make you any better than anybody else. It's true. It's that you, the, they, you chose to get an education just like the guy that's at community college. So it's just being a little bit smarter about it um, personally for them. That's the route that they chose to go. I'm not ripping on anyone that goes to a university. I'm just saying you are not better than anybody that goes to a community college. You are not better in the education realm than a person that goes to a community college. You both are getting the same education. Um, they're just being a little bit more smarter about with their money and um, staying closer to home and waiting to go off into adulthood. Because I know I was not ready right out of high school. I'm like, oh shit, I cannot do this. I cannot go to a university. I love my mommy too much. <laughs> so that's that. Um, that was 11 minutes. I think a minute of that was composed of me staring at the floor and trying to figure out that last top, that last bullet point for community colleges versus universities. Um, I guess I can envelop into, <laughs> into sleeping naked. <laughs> um, I've been sleeping naked for about a year and a half now. Um, I'll tell you why I love it so much. There's actually health benefits or sleeping naked oh my gosh it's true um, especially for females cuz um, you know we have that certain body part down there that needs some little airing out so <laughs> let's get into that let's dive in <laughs> so um, sleeping naked like I said I've been sleeping naked for naked sleeping naked <laughs> for one and a half years now I just love it so much because if you're like me and um, when you go to bed, as you get older, the more clothes you start taking off. And like I used to sleep in pants and a shirt and underwear and a bra, like all together, sorry. <laughs> like I wore underwear, a bra, pants and a shirt. And then soon the pants came off and then the bra came off. And then the underwear came off, and then the shirt came off, and I slept naked. Yee! So, um, the reason why I like sleeping naked is, honestly, to be honest, not to be cheesy or anything, it is very liberating. You just feel free, and you fly across the world, and I just love it, because you're just, that's, I just love it. I can't explain you guys. I just feel free and liberated. I'm just like sprung on the bed and just like, this is me world. Like in the darkness of your room, with the covers on top of you, like this is me. Embrace it. Um, Cause I don't know if this has happened to you, but my short, like my pants kept getting shorter as time went on to where I just ripped them off. And um, if you wear the long shorts like to your ankles, they would just end up rolling. You would move so much in bed that they would just end up rolling up your legs to your crotch and got like um, a diaper on. And I did not like that. <laughs> um, I just felt really constricted in my clothes and everything. So, and I would get very hot very fast. So just sleeping with no clothes on is so free and it's so amazing. Uh, I just love it. Um, health benefits for females especially is um, bacteria and gross things like to like dark, moist places. And your coochie happens to be that. Um, that's where bacteria likes to thrive is damp, dark places. And um, when I went to the gynecologist, they told me don't sleep with any pants on. Don't sleep with any underwear on at night, unless you're on your period, of course. Come on, girls. To let it air out. Because your body has a natural cleansing process. And if it can't do it properly, bacteria is going to grow. And you're going to get an infection, either a yeast infection or a UTI infection or something of that matter. And girls, you know how bad they hurt. You know the pain. You know the struggle. You know just the sheer 
Ah, like you just want to die a little bit on the inside. You die a little bit on the inside when you have an infection down there. So sleeping without anything underneath that, with anything covering your hoo-ha at night, they say is really healthy for your female parts. It airs it out, it lets it breathe into the world, and just it relaxes and just helps it, the natural cleaning process of it at night. Um, I know there's a lot more health benefits. Um, another one, another health benefit that I read about was that it helped burn fat faster. It helps you lose weight. People who tend to sleep naked are way a little way less than people who sleep with clothes on. I don't know why. Another thing is if you are having a significant other in your life and then y'all share the same bed together and you sleep naked, that just sparks a little morning intimacy and gets you going for the day. <laughs> so yeah, those are a few reasons why I like sleeping naked. I know there are a lot more health benefits that go along with it. You can look it up. You can literally Google it or you can ask me to go more in depth about it. And I will for you guys, but that's just the bare basis of why I like sleeping naked. So I'm not telling y'all, I'm not making you guys do this. I'm just saying, try it out. If you don't like it, you never have to do it again. But don't write comments saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe you made me do this. Da, da, da. I can't believe it. I hate you. Like, how could you make me just, I am not making you do anything. I'm just giving you food for thought and trying something new. And it could spark that little intimacy with your partner. And you might absolutely love it. You can love it. You might think it's okay, like during the hot summer days, or you might, you could hate it, absolutely love it, or it's a, in between, or you do it every once in a while. It's completely 100% up to you. I love it. I'm embracing it. I think everyone should try it at least once in their life and just, or for a week and see how they feel about it. If they don't like it, never have to do it again. And share your experience, not share your experience, I mean, share your input and thoughts on it. If you did find it freeing and liberating and you absolutely love it, I would love to hear about it. If you didn't like it for some reason, tell me, and at least your comments are out there. Um, so I covered school, I covered sleeping naked, and I don't want to go into yeast infections because I just hate them so much. Oh, let me give you the bare basis on yeast infections. Let's go. So yeast infections are a horrible demon in the world that just loves to attack your vagina, and I do not know why, but many things can cause yeast infections. Intimacy, soap, the foods you eat and drink can affect your balance down there, and it is painful, it is itchy, you urinate all the time, it's just such a hassle, and it makes me want to cry, because I hate so much. I hate them. Um... And um, to figure out whether you have a yeast infection or not, is yeast infections do not cause fever, they do not cause vomit, they do not cause nausea, they do not cause any other bad symptoms um, that could possibly be an STD. Um, so you definitely want to go get that checked out. But even if you are 100% sure it's a yeast infection, infection Still go to the gynecologist and ask him just to make sure, because you never know. Um, a yeast infection, the most um, key things that you will notice is that you're really red and itchy and irritated down there. And you will also have a white, like, cottage cheese-looking discharge, I would say, coming out of you. And it's, like, on your underwear, and you can just see it. And I know you girls do go down, like, touch yourself down there. Not touch, touch, not masturbate, but you do feel down there. And um, you do look in the mirror, because I do. I examine my vagina at least once a month to see if everything is healthy and okay, because I freaked out when I saw an ingrown hair bump, and I thought it was like, I don't even know. I freaked out. So you definitely need to go and examine yourself. I do at least once a month. I mean, it's really up to you, but at least examine yourself and know what's going on down there because you only get one of those, and that's what makes you feminine. It makes you a female. <coughs> it makes you female. Like, pray, like I, pray, it makes you a female, so you need to take care of it. So, yeah, so when you look down there and you notice the redness and the irritation and you see the cottage cheese stuff coming out of you, 
It could be a yeast infection. It could not be. Just go to your doctor. You need to absolutely 100% go to your doctor. You can take monostat. That's what I took. And I took it. There's seven day, one day, and three day. I took the three days where like you take little tubes filled with cream. You like put them inside you and squirt the all the cream in and everything. And that worked for a time. And but it did not really get rid of the infection. It just subsided it for a little bit. And I was about to go to the doctor, but then I got my period, so I couldn't go. So, but now I'm fine. My yeast infection is gone because of my period. Do not wait for your period to come. Do not take monostat and go to your gynecologist because it is so, so incredibly important that you take care of your body, especially your vagina, ladies. Like, you need to take care of it. It is so important to us. It is. Give, it, it makes life. It gives life. It keeps us feminine. It, it makes us female. It makes us who we are. And we just need to take care of it. So, um, take Moss at, go immediately to the gynecologist. I go to, um, KC Siebel Clinic. I go there to one of them. I really like them. That's a really good place to go. If you do not know a gynecologist right off the bat, you just go to, to that website and you can find a gynecologist near you to the Kelsey Siebel clinic so I like their clinic they're nice people um it just gave me peace of mind and knowing that my body was healthy I just had yeast infection and that was easily taken care of with a little tiny pill that they gave me and so um that's that so Yay! <laughs> I talked about every topic that that one person commented. So I talked about school. I talked about sleeping naked and yeast infection. So hopefully next video, I just got my Brazilian. I just got a Brazilian wax for the first time ever. And I will definitely talk to you guys about my experience and how amazing it is not having any hair down there. And, um... I think that's the next video I will go. I am going to be talking about with you guys. Um, again, leave me comments, thumbs up, subscribe, give me more stuff to talk about. Any questions that you have from previous videos or for future videos, like about the Brazilian wax, if you have questions concerning that before I make the video, ask your questions and I will include them in there. I will hopefully be posting that video next week on my time off i'm not going to post it this week even though i do have time because back-to-back videos are just a lot and i want you guys to have time to write your questions and make your comments about um the upcoming video for brazilian waxing and is it worth it or not i think it's worth it just letting you know i'll get more in depth about that later um so I think I covered everything right now. Uh, please keep your questions and your comments coming. A thumbs up, subscribe, all that lovey stuff. I keep repeating myself. I'm so sorry, guys. Again, I wing this shit like it's nobody's business. Um, so, yeah. So, you guys, these are the best seeds in the world. These, and I love you so muchies. Mwah. Bye, guys.